Good evening, everyone. I want to join all of you in honoring my friend, State Representative Reverend Louise Bishop. Not only is Louise one of the greatest legislators, she is one of our greatest broadcasters and a faithful servant of God. We have been friends for many, many years, and I cherish that friendship dearly. She is without a doubt the hardest working person I know, so much so I really think that there are three of her. She is everywhere, protecting not only the people she represents in her own district, but all the citizens of Philadelphia and the state of Pennsylvania. She also somehow finds some time to save a few souls along the way. She's a true champion of her era, an icon and a jewel of the city of Philadelphia. Louise, no one deserves to be in the Broadcasting Hall of Fame more than you do. God bless you. It is my honor to call you my friend. The queen of gospel music in Philadelphia can only be one person, Louise Williams Bishop. Born in Georgia, Louise moved to the Quaker City when she was 15 and was graduated from West Philadelphia High. She received her professional degree in radio broadcasting from the American Federation of Dramatic Arts. Originally, she thought she might like television, but was drawn to radio like a magnet. Starting at WHAT Radio, she quickly moved to WDAS, AM and FM, where she reigned over the airwaves as the gospel queen for half a century. Later, she moved to WURD Radio, where she is now heard daily for two hours and five hours every Sunday. She became ordained an evangelist by the Pennsylvania Baptist Association and ministered to thousands of people across nine states. Continuing her interest in serving others, Louise Williams Bishop was elected to the Pennsylvania State House of Representatives in 1988 and is now in her 13th consecutive term. She had four children, Todd, Tab, Tamika, and James, and she was a member of the Penn Memorial Baptist Church, which named her Mother of the Year. Broadcaster, state representative, minister, mother. Louise Williams Bishop wears many hats as we induct her into our Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. It gives me personal pleasure to introduce Louise because 40, was it 40 years ago? 40 years ago, we worked together when she was the gospel queen and I was operations manager at WDAS and her husband at the time, Jimmy Bishop, was vice president of programming and was my mentor. And today, Louise is my state representative. Louise. Let me please take this opportunity to say thank you to Broadcast Pioneers and to my good friend, Jerry Wilkerson. He and I have had a long, ongoing relationship. But let me just say a few words about the broadcast business, since this is about the business of broadcasting. Even though I wear three hats, the broadcasting business is one of the most unique business, one of the most fulfilling businesses, I believe, that one could champion. And if you have the opportunity to serve in it as long as I have, the longer you're there, the more you love it, and the more you want to be there. It's the kind of thing that allows you to enter into the hearts and souls of everyone who listens. Even though you may not personally know them, they know you, and they never, ever will forget you. I started some 50 years ago broadcasting, and I can say to you this evening, one of my proudest moments is not only being a broadcaster, but opening the door for all of the women who have stood here tonight and received awards, for all of the women who will stand in the future and receive awards. Thank God that Louise Williams Bishop held that door pushed it open, even when I was told the answer wouldn't come forth. I saw his name in the program book this evening, a man by the name of Len Stevens, who had belief in me. When maybe I'm not sure I wasn't at a point of not believing in myself. He says, you have the ability 
to sell ice to Eskimos, <laughs> develop the craft and use it. And as I began with Munts TV, as I began with Tracy American Building Corporation, as I began with all of the other great sponsors, we finally put ourselves, it, believe it or not, into the eyesight and the realm of the eyes of Ford dealership. And we became one of the most successful radio personalities in this city. And they finally begin to open doors, not to just the brothers, but to the sisters. And so I had the opportunity to work with people like my ex-husband, Jimmy Bishop. I had an opportunity to run it on down, Mr. G.J. with Georgie Woods and with Jocko Henderson and all of the other famous ones. And with each one that I came in contact with, I let, got a little something from them and left a little something that I can pass on to you. As one who's been there for 50 years, love your listener. L believe in your listeners. Give your listeners what you want. You may move from one phase of broadcasting to another. You may be a newscaster, you may be a weather woman or weather man, or you may possibly be one that hold those doors open making history for someone else. But I say to you in closing, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warmly upon your face and the rain fall softly upon your fields. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hands. And tonight, before you go to bed, thank God for the day you've just had and the one you prayerfully hope will be waiting tomorrow. My beloved, may you always look backwards with satisfaction, forward with faith. Have a good night. Glad we could get together.